The Black Sea is absolutely unique because of its geological evolution. About 15,000 years ago, during the last glacial period, the Black Sea in those days was completely separated from the global ocean. It was a huge freshwater lake. About 8,000 years ago, the Bosphorus Straits opened and the reconnection with the global ocean started. So the saltier waters from the Mediterranean started to enter the Black Sea. This created a sea with two layers where the upper part is oxygenated in the first 180 or 200 meters and the lower part is completely anoxic, lacking oxygen. One of the impact is that biodiversity is mainly focused in the oxic areas. So the fishing areas are very specific. They are concentrated around the coast of the Black Sea down to a certain depth. This depth can actually change and this is one of the effects of climate change. The um, border between the anoxic and the oxic water can go higher and this means that there are areas where biodiversity cannot thrive. There are three major rivers that uh, uh, fit into the Black Sea, uh, uh, Nipper, uh, Nister, and the Danube. We are at the, the St. George the Danube River uh, mouth. This is a very productive area, uh, resulting from high nutrients level um, coming from the Danube River upstream. And this can potentially enhance hypoxia, and one of the solutions would be to control pollution or to mitigate pollution in the rivers so there are less nutrients coming down to the Black Sea.